All right, folks, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to reconnect over the Sonos app if you've changed your Wi-Fi or password, etc., and you fire up the Sonos app and it just can't connect. So right here in the Sonos app, you hit join an existing system and it says we can't find any existing system as it looks over your Wi-Fi. Now, in my particular case, I actually named my Wi-Fi the same thing, but changed the password and switched over internet providers. So what we have to do here is is instead of joining existing system, we're gonna go ahead and add speaker or component. Now, my app actually had me do a app update to the current newest app. So let's go ahead and do that. Add speaker and component right here. And we're gonna turn on Bluetooth, which my Bluetooth is off. I'm one of those guys that doesn't like Bluetooth. I'd rather have it go over the internet, Wi-Fi, etc. But that's not the point. The point is it's gonna search for nearby products. And you wanna obviously make sure that your Sonos speakers or soundbar is powered on. Now, next step we have to do is we have to go ahead and put this in discover mode. And you're gonna need to do this for your arc, you're gonna need to do this for your speakers, etc. But we're gonna start with the arc. I do have my 300 speakers, but we'll show you the arc and the subwoofer here. So what we're gonna do before it is discoverable within the app, we're actually gonna unplug the power cord on our arc. That's the first step. And if your cords are not very easily accessible, then just go over here here, if you're looking down on it, there's your power cord right there. So we're going to head unplug it here instead of the actual outlet. And then what we're going to do here is I'm going to have to actually use two hands for this. I'm going to hold down this infinity symbol on the back of my arc, right next to the ethernet port. There's a little infinity symbol right here. I'm going to hold that down while I'm plugging back in my power cord. And you're going to keep holding that down after you plug the power cord back in until the LED light on the front turns amber white. That means it's in pairing mode. So let me see if I can get the right shot here for you guys as we do this here. So I'm holding down the infinity symbol. I'm plugging it back in, which I just did. I'm continuing to hold it down. See the white LED right here? And we're gonna keep holding it down until, there we go. So that took about six to seven seconds, and now it is, whoops, I might have to do it again. I think I waited a little too long. Now it turned green. Let's see if we can still do it with it green, but it was amber and white. All right, sweet. So even with it on, sorry, my puppy wants to say hi. She's getting, she wants some cute little pets. This is a Labradoodle, and sorry, my floor is not done. I'm in the middle of a remodel. But here is Bria. She always wants to be part of the videos. Hi, baby. Say hi to the say hi to the viewers. Hi, baby. I know. So good news. Even though that is now blinking green after amber and white, it discovered it in the app. Just like we saw earlier, make sure your Bluetooth is turned on, etc. So Sonos Arc right there. I'm going to go ahead and add that. And we're going to go ahead and hit continue on the next screen. And then it wants to record audio. I'll go ahead and say while well, using the app, sure. Getting my Sonos Arc ready. Okay, now it's going to play a chime. And this might be sensitive. Maybe I don't want this chime over the internet because it's going to pair to my particular app. It's probably not security. But we'll go ahead and maybe edit part of this out. But we'll hit continue. All right, so it played a little chime and it paired up with the chime over the speaker to the app and now it's connecting my Sonos Arc. Okay, now I'm covering up obviously right above this is going to be my Wi-Fi name, but you're going to enter your Wi-Fi password and obviously it's connecting to whatever Wi-Fi network your cell phone is on. All right, that actually took a few minutes for that last step to connect to it, but it actually says your Sonos Arc has been added but may not appear in your system. If so, unplug the power cord and plug it back in to finish setup from systems setting. Let's go ahead and hit done. And yeah, it doesn't look like it is in there for some oddball reason, that's kind of weird. So let's unplug it and plug it back in. All right, we plugged it back in. Now let's go to system settings. Now on this next screen, it actually says system not found, update network. That will go away if you don't tap on anything. So do it quickly. 
And then we see this area right here. It will try to reconnect to my new network, which is the same network as my cell phone. Okay, it discovered my subwoofer without having to factory reset that. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit select on that as well. Make a long story short, this is my second time now doing it. So my arc is already in the system. It's getting my subwoofer ready right now. And again, I didn't have to do anything to my subwoofer. I didn't have to factory reset it, but it is required me to turn on NFC to retrieve my pin. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, I actually use the pin on the bottom. It will lead you through the instructions. And then you hit the little button on the side of the subwoofer located right there where my thumb is the little infinity symbol. It'll lead you through the app to do that. Then it says your mobile device is connected to my Wi-Fi name. Would you like to add your sub or update it? Yes, I would. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this network right here. And now I'm gonna enter in the password for the updated network. Alrighty, good news. I'm covering up my Wi-Fi name. It says the Wi-Fi system has been updated. And then right below it right there, it says update another product. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that for the Sonos Arc because again, I think I had issues issues because I didn't hit that quick enough when I was pairing my arc the first go around. So I hit the black button, update another product. It's searching for another product. And it looks like I might actually have to go back into pairing mode for the Sonos arc, but it looks like it's beeping green on me. So, all right, make a long story short. If the Sonos developers of the app are watching this, please make this a lot easier within the app, especially if you're trying to change your Wi-Fi name and password, etc. Because now this is my second time trying to pair my Sonos Arc in pair mode and firing it up through the app. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue again. It's gonna go ahead and play the chime once again. Okay, after pairing it for a second time now, it says the Arc must complete an update and this will take several minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and update it now. All right, it is downloading and installing firmware. There's a little circle right there. So I think that's what happened. It needed to update it. So once I updated with network settings in the app, then it was able to connect over my new network to be able to know that it does need an update. Okay, with those multiple steps, it looks like it is now paired to my app finally after that update. But now <laughs> it looks like I need to repair my subwoofer because for some reason it says subwoofer not assigned. Living room arc is. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can do this and update this without having to go through all the pair things. Update, checking updates, now that I'm connected to the right network. All right, I think it is good to go. So again, if you get a little error message, you're gonna have to reconnect and find the network settings like I showed you. Nope, says subwoofer still not paired. Okay, so after hitting it once again, <laughs> this is now the second time uh, for an update. Let's see here, same thing, it needs an update and it should go through the exact same process, updating the firmware. So again, Sonos developers fix those little bugs within the app of having to you know, hit it two different times and now it's updating my sub, don't unplug sub from power. Finishing the update, please wait. All right, after that subwoofer has been updated with firmware, it still says it's not assigned right here. So what we gotta do is we gotta tap on it and we gotta assign it to a room now. So I'm gonna go ahead and add room. And then it says, let's add a sub to one of your rooms. I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue here. And it shows my Sonos Arc right here, living room. I'm gonna select that and it's gonna add sub now in the app. And again, just an extra loophole jump through. <laughs> and the little bar is still going. And my subwoofer and arc made a noise. You probably heard that in the background and I'm gonna hit done. So my app is open. Let's go ahead and hit on living room and products right here in the middle it says arc and sub. It says remove sub, connect to second sub or set up surrounds. So I'm going to have to set up my surrounds with my 300 speakers. And that's how you would do that if you need to reconnect to your other speakers. And you're going to go ahead and have to go through that process of resetting those. Same method applies just like the subwoofer and arc. Well, definitely some loopholes to jump through, but hopefully this video has helped you get your system 
back in the app. If you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button on your way out, helps the channel. Also subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. And Sonos team, would you please make it a little bit easier on us, please? But that's why we make YouTube videos. You guys have a wonderful day. Take care for now. Bye-bye.